into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Junior in this game, he's been everywhere. The burst he's had when going at the rim has been... And yep, another basket. We're bearing witness to one of the great scoring seasons of all time. Greg, he's delivering night in and night out. Great games and nearing third all-time for scoring in a season. And guys, don't look now, but Michael Jordan's scoring mark from 1987 is in his sights. And Bryant, the bucket on the assist by Griffin. Bryant's got his first basket of the night. You know, Blake Griffin, he gives you a little bit of everything offensively. Terrific court awareness. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. Detroit's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Knight dishes to Bryant. There's Brown with the three. No good. Shot missing. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Knight looking it over. Pass to Griffin. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot it. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. After hitting three straight, they finally miss one. But you can see the rhythm coming out of the half. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Man, he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. Here's Bryant, and Bryant slams it in. One of the cases where height failed to tell you the whole story. For Milwaukee, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. And Antetokounmpo slams it in. And we talk about Antetokounmpo's all-around skills, and tonight it's been about the scoring. He's put this offense on his back. Ludzo against Knight. To the paint. Here's Bryant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Bucks. So, you know, Greg, you probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the ninth? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, a defensive-minded team, but the one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. Oh, free throws good from Bryant. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Inside, here's Giannis. And the dunk by Giannis. A, a solid playmaker. Bledsoe has the vision to take advantage of an imbalance in defense. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Why Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied.
is here for the Bucks. Julius Silvers checked in. And Todd subbed in for Chris Middleton. Here is Bryant. He's got six. Snell kicks tonight. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Griffin down low. After the combo is there. Griffin passes to Snell. Clock at four. Night for three. And Thomas Bryant gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all